Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a responsive gallery layout in Oxygen. So let's jump straight into the builder, and this will be a quick one. So we've started here with a heading, which doesn't matter, and our gallery, which is what we care about. So this is your typical oxygen gallery layout. This is using the flex layout. We also have masonry available, which looks pretty decent if you have images with different aspect ratios. These are all the same aspect ratio, so you don't really see the effect of the masonry layout option there. Um, but flex is the default. And it looks really good on desktops. As you can see here, it looks fine. You click it, you've got your light box, all of that fun stuff. But if we wanna make this thing responsive, my preferred method is to use grid layout. So we're gonna go over here and select grid. And now we can manipulate our grid just like you can on other containers in Oxygen. Uh, we also may want to set our image fit to cover. This is mostly important, again, if you have images with different aspect ratios. Um, you may not need that setting. So let's go down and figure out what we want this gallery to look like. Let's do, um, let's try bumping it up to four columns. That looks pretty good. Uh, it's a little bit small. Let's try there. Nope. Let's go down, let's just do three, that looks pretty good. Now, the trick to making this responsive in the easiest way possible is to tick this box, auto fit columns, which completely negates the column count we just set up, but that's okay. So we're gonna click auto fit columns, and this is gonna use the minimum width that we have set here to calculate how many images can fit on each row. So if you want um, fewer images per row, in our case we want three images per row, we just bump up this minimum width until we get that result. And we don't have to be exact here. This minimum width is not um, incredibly important besides just getting the result that we want. Let's go ahead and throw in our gap here. Let's just change it to like eight pixels. Uh, and that will also impact the layout a little bit. So make sure you get your gap where you want it. And then we can go back up and adjust our minimum width. And then see how there's a little bit of extra space below these images. That's where set image fit to cover is gonna make our images cover the entire space of the grid cell that they're in. So let's go back down here and let's adjust this minimum width back up now that we have a little bit of extra space between our grid elements. Now, here's the magical part. Let's go ahead up to the front end now that we've set up our grid layout. And what we're concerned about is, is this responsive? So it looks great on a desktop. Let's size down and see what happens. Now watch as we get to the edge of the gallery. We're gonna get smaller, 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 and then boom. The whole layout shifts to accommodate the viewport width. And if we keep going down, smaller, 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 and boom, again. And this is with like three clicks. We don't have to go to each breakpoint and adjust the gallery layout. This is gonna look great on mobile devices, pretty much out of the box. As long as you go over there and utilize that grid layout and use the auto fit option, you've got a responsive gallery on your WordPress site built with oxygen out of the box. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So again, this is a short video showing you a quick tip about the best way, in my opinion, to set up a responsive gallery in Oxygen using the grid layout option. Again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and thank you very much for watching.